Hello everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see about how to perform feature selection using correlation matrix. So this correlation matrix is very helpful if you are dealing with uh, numerical attributes. So this is especially uh, more helpful if you are uh, working on regression projects because uh, the target variable is a continuous uh, variable and it will be a no numerical attribute and uh, even the input attributes are also numerical means uh, it will able to calculate the scores for the attributes and we can able to compare and uh, we can also select uh, the top uh, features for our project. So that's how the correlation matrix works. So let's uh, explore a data set and uh, try to uh, find the correlation matrix and I'll also explain how you can uh, infer the correlation matrix and uh, select the important features. Okay, now let's load a data set. So df equals pd dot read csv. So I'm gonna get bike sharing data set. So this is a, a regression uh, projects we have done. Uh, if you didn't uh, see that uh, project means you can click on the right top corner of this video to see that. Now let's display the head. So this is the uh, values I'm getting. So these are all the values, the date uh, attributes are extracted here and we can also see other attributes in detail. So these are some floating points and this is the target variable uh, we have to predict. Now quickly just uh, create a correlation matrix for this. So to do that core equals df dot core. So in pandas itself uh, you can easily create the correlation matrix. So I'll just display the result here. So this is the correlation matrix, but uh, it's not that much easily inferable uh, with this uh, pure numbers. So let's uh, display the results in terms of like heat map. Display correlation matrix in heat map. So core equals df dot core. First find the correlation matrix as before. And after that, I will use SNS dot heat map, pass the correlation matrix, annotation equals true. So this will uh, display the values, what we are seeing in the matrix. And uh, color map equals cool warm. So this is the usual uh, color map I will use in order to clearly differentiate between the uh, positive correlation and negative correlation. And this, so this is the correlation matrix. As you can able to see, uh, we can't able to infer the matrix because of this uh, small plot. Let's uh, try to increase the plot size. So for this, we will just import uh, matplotlib. So here I'm gonna import, import matplotlib.pyplot as plot and uh, percentage matplotlib inline and this. Now here I will just uh, change the figure size plot dot fig size. Okay, figure fig size. So I'll just say 10 comma 10. So this is the plot we are getting. I will increase this a little. Okay, now it's uh, somewhat more clear. And uh, just scroll down a little. Maybe I'll just adjust the height here with nine. Okay, now we can uh, see the whole correlation matrix. Uh, first, we will uh, see the target variable. So from the target variable, you can uh, clearly uh, see uh, this cache well and register has high correlation with the target variable because uh, if you just add both of them means uh, you will directly get the target variable. Uh, that's how the data set is. So when we are uh, dealing with the project, we will usually drop this because uh, it's leaking uh, the data. So that's why we'll just uh, drop this. But apart from that, if you have high correlation like this means, 
uh, it is like an important attribute. With the help of this attribute, you can easily predict the target variable. So that is the inference uh, we can get. And uh, we will also see other attributes. Anything that is uh, above the range of uh, plus or minus 0 0.05, uh, that attribute have some importance or dependence with the variable. So here you can see this temperature has a positive correlation. So it is 0 0.4 based on the temperature. Also, um, we can able to easily uh, detect the target variable. And apart from that, uh, we have HAR. So based on the HAR of the day, uh, we can able to predict the target. So the, this data set is like a bike sharing data set. So the objective is to predict how many uh, vehicles uh, will be getting by the user throughout the day. So based on the hourly basis, uh, based on some specific hour, we can able to easily predict how many uh, vehicles uh, will be rented by the user. So apart from that, uh, all other variables have like uh, uh, some more less correlation. Uh, here you can see uh, the 0 0.03 and 0 0.027 a minus 0.031 so these variables are not much uh, affecting the target variable so it's not that much important uh, variables in order to predict the target so that's how the inference uh, works so uh, with the help of correlation matrix you can easily select the top uh, features based on these values for the target variable so that is one way and the next way is uh, to eliminate some of the features uh, in the input attributes. So for that, we will check the whole uh, data. Um, here you can uh, clearly see this A temp and uh, temp has 0 0.99 uh, correlation. That is highly positive uh, correlation. Uh, if you see uh, numbers like this, like, like more than uh, 0 0.8 or uh, 0 0.7, you can drop any one of those values because both values represent some what a similar pattern. So here you can easily uh, see uh, if a temperature increases, a temperature also increases. That means like atmospheric uh, temperature. So here if it's uh, 0 0.22 means it's also, it's in the same range of 0 0.27. And if it's 0 0.24 means again it is in uh, 0 0.28. So like that uh, it is highly correlated. So you can drop any one of the feature. So that is the uh, inference you can uh, use if you have so many attributes. And apart from that, you can also see year is highly correlated with the instant. So instant is just the uh, serial numbers. You can just drop that. And uh, you can also see month is highly correlated with season. So you can drop uh, month or season in the data set. This won't impact the model that much uh, severely. But if you have like hundreds of features and you want to really uh, uh, select the top features means uh, you can just uh, remove some kind of uh, redundancy here. So this will be very helpful in order to eliminate uh, some of the features. And uh, for the target variable, you can easily choose uh, what are the top attributes that are affecting the output variable. And apart from that, you can uh, see some of the dark blue colors um, attributes. So these uh, few attributes are like uh, negatively uh, correlated. So here you can see wind speed is uh, somewhat negatively correlated with the humidity. And uh, similarly, all other attributes uh, are there. And uh, here also you can uh, see the temperature is somewhat correlated with the casual because that represents uh, almost the target variable. And what other things is there? Here working day is uh, somewhat negatively correlated with the holiday. And humidity is also uh, somewhat negatively correlated with the HAR. So you can uh, clearly observe some kind of a relation between these attributes. As I said already, if the values are uh, more than 0 0.05, both in uh, plus or minus, that means the variables have some kind of a dependency with each other. And uh, I think that's it, guys. This is how you can infer the correlation matrix. And uh, this is a classic uh, Pearson correlation. You can easily uh, obtain this uh, with the help of a formulas also, but uh, I recommend using this function because this is like a single line. So that's it guys. If you have any queries about this uh, correlation matrix, please leave a comment below. And apart from that, if you like this video, hit the like button and I will see you guys in the next video.